Listen, Scott, you're probably the most amazed person in the room because you were up close to the action, but it is my job to blow your mind. That's why I'm here. Uh, I, I need to ask a question. Does anybody here uh, uh, consider themselves to be a little skeptical about the existence of magic? Show of hands. Where are my skeptics at? We got a skeptic right here, sir. Any other people a little skeptical, maybe? Right up here up front. She's pointing at you, ma'am. She's saying, you should meet my sister in the back. Okay, listen, I can't live with that because magic is real. So I've made a commitment to your astonishment. Here, yeah. Here, before the show, I sealed in this envelope my commitment to your astonishment. This is a priority. I brought this priority mail envelope. These are free at the post office. I'm gonna seal, nothing else, I'm gonna seal inside this priority mail envelope my commitment to your astonishment. Sealed. <laughs> Sealed my commitment to your astonishment. And this is very important, what is your name? Mike? Yeah. Kate. Kate? Yeah. My name's Derek. Nice. Kate, here's your job. You're gonna keep this safe and secure until I need it later in the show. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah. Okay, great. Here's how you're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you to take this envelope, place it flat on your seat, and place yourself directly on top of it. You cool with that? Here we go, Kate. There she goes. Sealed. It's a top or bottom. This is a dry bar show. I don't know why. <laughs> You are now completely seated on top of the envelope. This is safe now. Yes. We can trust you. And we do this because of my skeptics. You might think, oh, so they changed the contents. The, on the envelope was changed. Kate, if someone tried to mess with that envelope but between now and the moment I say, Kate, do you still have the envelope? You'd immediately know, right? Yes. You'd be like, whoa, hey. <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't suffer from numb butt. <laughs> no, good functioning butt. So now, safe and secure, you are a priority. Route 66. Woo! Still skeptical? <laughs> oh, oh, you got it. <laughs> What's your name? Tom. Tom? With an H? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> I don't buy it. I don't buy it. What do you do? Computer programmer. Computer programmer. Oh. And you're still a little skeptical. I can feel it. Get up here. <laughs> I can't leave him hanging like that. Tom, there's some steps in the back. Let our skeptic hear it as he comes to the stage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tom. Hey, listen, you didn't have to lie to me and say, no, you did it. I'm totally converted. I'm a believer now. I can tell you're still like, yeah, whatever. He's paying Abby. <laughs> Let me ask you this. As a skeptical man, uh, do you feel you have free will? Yes. Freedom of choice? Yes. And you live confidently within that illusion? Yes. <laughs> Most of us do. Tom, for the next few minutes, you do not have free will. We're going to use, uh, we'll use the cards again, okay? And here, since you're skeptical, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen before it even happens. Take a little step forward. So, uh, great, and uh, you guys can see okay? Great. Uh, what's here, in a minute, in front of you, I will shuffle the cards. Once the cards are shuffled and squared up, Tom, you can cut them if you want. You can cut off a little, you can cut off a lot, whatever's left will complete the cut. You can use my hands like a little table. You don't have to cut the cards if you don't want to, but Tom, it won't be your choice. <laughs> Let's begin. Tom, the cards have been shuffled. Would you like to cut the cards? Go ahead, and I'll complete the cut. Did that feel like a free choice? Yes. It was not. <laughs> Tom, before we continue, look, they're a little sloppy there. I'll just square them up a little in my hand. Would you like to cut them again? Are you happy where they are? I like where they are. You like where they are? Does that feel like a free choice? Yes. It is not. <laughs> Tom, I'm gonna go through the cards all the way from the top to the bottom. Anywhere you want, you're gonna reach in. You're not gonna take one card. You're gonna take a small little group of cards. And if I get all the way to the bottom and you haven't felt the moment, no rush, I'll go back to the top. I'll keep cycling th through the cards. <laughs> now, 
Tom. Did that feel like a free choice? Uh-uh. <laughs> Would you like to put them back and uh, pick from a different place? No, I like it. Look at those cards, Tom, and choose one. The one card you want to keep. Remove it from the others. You've done that. So you do not want, you do not want the three of clubs. No. And you don't want the two of diamonds? No. You want to change your mind for the four of spades? Okay. What about that ace of hearts? That's a good card. Ace of hearts? Are you sure? Are you sure? Fine. <laughs> Dry bar, I knew there'd be a skeptic at the show tonight. And I'm a man on a mission. <laughs> That's why I made a commitment to your astonishment. Do you still have the envelope? Would you please remove it? Check that it is still sealed. It, don't open it, it's still sealed. It's still sealed, yes? Yes, I will take it sealed. Look, Tom, no funny moves. It is still sealed, Tom. Tom, it is still warm. <laughs> No funny moves. Remember what I sealed. In this envelope, my commitment to your astonishment. What card did you pick? Show them. The eight of diamonds. Ladies and gentlemen, before the show, in this envelope, I sealed another envelope. It's called Dramatic Build. I was a theater major. But Tom, for you, in this envelope, in the envelope, there's one and only one card, the eight 